Hey guys, I'm Voy Gamer, and my channel, well, it's interesting variety of gaming, of reaction videos, of all kinds of stuff. How are you guys today? I hope you guys are really doing great because I feel really, really great today. Today, we will be spotlighting a freedom partner that is part of our community team, and also, he is one of the administrators in our Discord page. His name is... Vaiola? Vo? Vo, yeah, vo, yeah. Say it with me now. All right, Voya Gamer, calm down. Let's get down to business. Voya Gamer is a YouTuber that does a lot of gaming content. Besides from that, he also makes videos of reviews of interesting and trending topics. The interesting part about Voya Gamer is that he juggles a lot of different content, and that's not easy to do for your family. Join me and Voya Gamer as he shares his experience on how he does this on his channel. Freedom Family, let me introduce Voya Gamer. Hi Dan, before we start the interview, please tell us something about yourself and your channel and how do you really pronounce your YouTube name? Voa? Voa? I'm saying it wrong, right? My channel is pronounced Voya Gamer. Voya Gamer. I got the idea for this name, and actually there's a YouTube music artist by the same name, but we both got our name from the same origin, which I think is pretty interesting. Him and I have talked about this a few times. There was an old Lego theme called Bionicle, and one of my favorite parts of that theme took place on an island called Voya Nui, V-O-Y-A, that just became my name. I started out using Voya Man and then Voya Gamer as the YouTube channel grew into a gaming channel and Voya Man would be a little weird for a YouTube channel to be called. So that's the origins of my name that no one can seem to pronounce. I can see in your channel that you have a lot of videos that did well. It started out with Five Nights at Freddy's, Roblox, TikTok, and other types of videos. My question is why do you think it became popular? So things like FNAF became popular and definitely started off my channel as a FNAF because these big YouTubers were really, really going at it. You had Game Theory, you had Markiplier, you had Jack, you had PewDiePie in there, you had all these big YouTubers and so many smaller YouTubers that dedicated themselves to Five Nights at Freddy's grew up and now you have people like Daco, Rasboski, and other people who are still big today just because they jumped on that trend train and they kept pumping out. I was late on that trend, so of course I didn't boom like they did, plus I had no idea what I was really doing, I was new to content making at the time, and I was bad at it. But that did start off the channel and things, and having a trend that is mainly prioritized by big YouTubers is really what helped grow that and grew the trend which started off my channel. Making videos on trending topics is a good idea because once you ride that hype train, there will be a higher chance for your videos to get noticed. I found a video in your channel that explains you want to transition to another type of content. What was your experience during the whole transition process and what can you share to our audiences that want to shift to another type of content? So after the whole my channel starting off as FNAF and all that, FNAF was dying out. And everyone thought the last game was going to come out in like 2016, even though it didn't. But everyone thought that it was over. Oh no, so what are people going to do? What are these FNAF channels going to do? But I left that trend and decided, okay, we're Voya Gamer. We should do gaming, not just FNAF but gaming as a whole. So transitioning from just FNAF to gaming was an interesting process to rebrand from just a single type of content to multiple types. And I am gonna just say now, do not just do one thing on your channel. You can do one genre of things. You can do gaming, you can do vlogs, you can do this, you can do that, but do not, if you're gonna do gaming, don't just play Roblox, don't just play FNAF, don't just play one thing over and over and over. I've seen this many times, some of my closest friends have done uh, the same thing for a long period of time, it does not turn out well for most people in the end. Indie games, indie horror games were big, so a lot of people were looking into that and making content on it and capitalizing on it, and that's what I did. I went from just FNAF 
to horror games, and then horror games uh, transition to just indie games in general. And that was a good rebrand, and it went pretty smoothly because the content is close enough related. If anyone out there is going to rebrand, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, I want to do this, then think about the way to make that transition the easiest for the viewers and for you. Having the viewers, your strengths and weaknesses in mind is pretty good advice for someone who wants to shift content. Why do you think it's important to interact with your audience or engage with the people that are viewing your channel or your videos? So interacting with your audience is always important. It builds a community feeling. You have big people like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye who have done reading your comments. And if you look at the comments on those videos or even in the comments on any video of theirs, people feel like it's a community that they're all there enjoying the same thing. It ultimately builds a closer community and people will feel like they're closer to you and can relate to you more, which is of course important as a YouTuber. That is evident in your channel because you made a video that explains you want to transition to another type of content. Because when you build a community of people that supports you, supports each other, and supports your brand or channel, it garners you active people who are actively watching your videos. My next question is, Right now, what motivates you to create content? My motivation for YouTube is that hopefully there will be some person, someone will see me and be like, yo, this dude, this dude's pretty good. I like him. I want to start doing that too. Ultimately, when you get to that, through that process, it is pretty smooth. So that's pretty much what my motivation is, is to just go and hopefully at some point inspire other people people to want to do and fulfill their dreams or desires of making video content. As for the future of the channel, it's really hard to tell since trends are changing constantly, but the trends are constantly changing, so you always have to be on top of things, always be trying out new things. Yes, you will fail. Yes, there will be videos that do terribly, and there will also be videos that do great. So you have to look and see what you did right, what you did wrong, and roll with that. Roll with the punches that you take. Yeah. Very noble motivation you have there. We know that one day you'll become like PewDiePie, Markiplier, or any other type of YouTuber you aspire to become. What advice can you give to our audiences that will help them grow their channel? One major thing to help you guys grow your channels, and this is ultimately the most important when I watch someone new. I love watching smaller channels, but ultimately to me, I want to see someone unique. Someone being true to themselves. But don't steal stuff. Don't be like, top of the morning to your laddies or stuff like that. Be yourself. Be true to yourself. Be you. Don't go impersonating others. Be you. Don't be afraid to be you. Just be yourself. Alright Freedom Family, remember to always stay true to yourself. If you are a goofy dude just like me, be goofy in front of the camera. If you are loud, be loud. Your personality goes a long way. Thanks Voya Gamer for those amazing answers. Lastly, what has Freedom contributed to the growth of your channel? I joined this exact day three years ago, September 27, 2015. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, happy... St I'd be three years in freedom, Voya. So I joined Freedom in September of 2015, three years ago, and through my time here on the network, my channel has really blossomed. I joined the network with about, I'd like to say, maybe 500 or less subscribers back before all these new rules were implemented. And Freedom really helped me by the community, going to the forums, going in the comments. Now we have the Discord. Freedom was my first network to join and it'll always just be the only network that I'll be with because so many other networks are focused on okay we're gonna give you this we're gonna give you that we're gonna do this but that's nice and all and some people want that but a lot of people want community you want relations you want people you can collab with you want people you can work with you want to build up that audience you don't want just free stuff everywhere and freedom focusing on that community aspect getting feedback, getting critiqued, letting other people watch it and watching other people. That is really the best thing about freedom. You are absolutely right, sir. We are a family. 
the Freedom Family. Thank you so much, Voya Gamer. The floor is yours. So if you want to see more of me, then you can check out my channel, which I'm sure will be in the description, which is Voya Gamer, V-O-I-A. It's not Voya. It's not V-O. Voya Gamer. And you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram as well. I also live stream every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, if any of you dear viewers would like to come watch. But that's all. That's my plug. That's my spiel. So thank you, Nold, and thank you, Freedom, for having me. It's been a blast, and it's been a blast for the past three years. Freedom family, give Voya Gamer some love. Check out his Twitter and Instagram page, which can be found in the video descriptions below. Don't forget, Freedom family, to check out his channel, subscribe, like, and also share with your friends. That's it for today, Freedom Family. I hope you guys loved this episode. Let me know by hitting that like icon. Let me know your insights, suggestions, or violent reactions if you have any in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click that bell icon. My name is Noel, guys, and you're watching Freedom Hot Seat. Goodbye.